Hi, congratulations on being admitted to McAllister College. I'm Karin, and I'm a professor of American Studies. Welcome to my patio. Obviously, I'm at home. <clears throat> we're, we're under stay-at-home orders, and probably you are too. Isolation can be really hard, but it's the right thing to do in the midst of this pandemic. I love teaching at McAllister. The students here are compassionate, concerned, engaged, smart, and really fun to be with. What is American Studies? It's not the same as your US Civics or your US History course. All of our courses respond to lived social experience. We emphasize a critical approach to race and culture in film, theater, education, history, and politics. We're interdisciplinary, and we put the knowledge and experiences of marginalized people at the center of our curriculum. I teach a whole semester long course based on my hero, Bruce Lee. Do you even know who Bruce Lee was? Bruce Lee was the greatest action hero who ever, ever lived. He was an influencer before that word existed. He influenced movies, fight cinematography, bodybuilding, sports nutrition, and even music. He invented his own style of fighting, and he wrote about it in a book called Jeet Kune Do. His philosophies even made it to the football field when Tom Brady tweeted Bruce Lee's famous slogan, Be Like Water. The one thing everyone needs to know about Bruce Lee is that he was a Chinese American who faced racism in Hollywood. He came up with the idea for the popular 1970s TV show, Kung Fu, starring David Carradine. But look it up, David Carradine was white. He wasn't even part Asian. Meanwhile, Bruce Lee was rejected for the role because they thought he was too Chinese for a show that was about Chinese martial arts. Bruce Lee was so disappointed with his prospects in the United States that he left for Hong Kong. When he became a big star there, Warner Brothers invited him back for the big blockbuster, Enter the Dragon. But even then, the directors were worried that an Asian face wouldn't resonate with US audiences. So they built a cast with three stars, Jim Kelly, who was black, John Saxon, who was white, and then Bruce. It's still a great movie. You should really see it. Bruce Lee is relevant even today. For example, Asian Americans are worried about something called coronavirus racism. You've heard it from the White House, the terms Chinese virus or even Kung flu. Those are really dangerous labels and they make Asian Americans a bullseye for racial hatred. In the past two weeks alone, the Asian Pacific Policy and Planning Council recorded over 1,000 incidences of, vis of, of, of verbal assault, verbal harassment and physical assault targeting Asian Americans. The Bruce Lee course is just one example of how American Studies deals with what's going on in the real world. In American Studies, you'll gain a vocabulary for talking about how racism interacts with gender, class, and empire. Your classmates will challenge you, and they'll challenge your assumptions and your beliefs. But out of all that, you'll develop a new set of questions about the world and how you fit into it. We're excited to have you join us. Look us up on social media and feel free to contact me. Stay healthy and see you soon.